All right, so you want to know how to edit faster. We came to the right place. I do have to give a disclaimer. If you're cheap, the door's that way. This is not gonna be a cheap method. Well, I'm not gonna say cheap, but you're gonna spend some money. Because the way I edit fast, I use tools to help me edit faster. But anyways, let me start from the beginning. The first thing you wanna do is set your computer up, your laptop, your phone, whatever it is, you wanna set it up for success. So you want to be using proxy files. Now, I know I said this in a previous video and a lot of people were asking me, what are proxy files? Let me tell you what it is. If you record your video footage in 4K, which most of us do, a proxy file is essentially the same video, but instead of it being in 4K, it's gonna be in 720p. So it's gonna be a lower resolution version of the same video. That is it. And the reason why we use it is because when you're editing footage, instead of it being a file that's four gigabytes or five gigabytes or something that's extremely large, it's going to be megabytes. So it's gonna be a lot smaller than the original footage. And when it's time to export the footage, it's going to be in that 4K beautiful quality. But use the proxy files so that when you're editing, it doesn't slow down your computer because it's not dealing with super large files. Now, there are two ways to get proxy files. One is from your camera, or two, you have to do it manually. Most of our cameras have the option to record the 4K footage and the proxy files at the same time. You have to just make sure that your camera works in that way. For me, I have a Sony a 7 so when I go to my settings, I am able to see that I am able to enable proxy files and just toggle that on. Whatever camera you have, see if you're able to do it. So simply just Google your camera name and put proxy files and see if you're able to do it. If you are able to do it, cool. That process is easy for you. If you're not able to do it, the other way you're gonna have to do it is get it manually by using whatever editing software you use and just simply export it in a lower file. That's probably the simplest way you can do it. If you're using something like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, which is what I use, those two platforms have an option for you to enable or generate proxy files from the footage that you already have. It's gonna be a little bit of an extra step, so it's gonna take you a little bit longer to start editing your footage, but I'm telling you, when you have proxy files, it's gonna make the whole thing a lot smoother. So if you're facing a problem right now with your timeline buffering and it's just going slow, proxy files are the name of the game. If you can't do it through your camera, you can do it manually by just going to whatever software you use. Me, I'm gonna recommend Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, that's it. Both of those two places have an option to where you can do it. That is first things first. So before I edit any footage, I make sure I have the original footage, so the original high quality, high resolution footage, and I also have the proxy file. That is the first thing, because at that point, my timeline is gonna be buttery smooth. I'm not gonna have to wait or nothing. The second thing, you have to understand what kind of video you're actually editing. If you're editing talking head videos, like this for example, these types of videos are a lot easier to edit than vlogs. Because with these type of videos, all you have to do is figure out a way where you can cut up all the parts that you messed up so it's a clean push through. And the easiest way to cut up all your footage automatically is through Premiere Pro, in my opinion. Because through Premiere Pro, they have a feature called auto transcription where you can auto delete all the pauses, all the ums, and all the dead space automatically. It's not gonna be a clean edit, but it's a starting point where you can finish the rest. So for example, if I have a video on Premiere Pro, I can literally just automatically cut all the silence that I have in my videos, all of the pauses, all the ums. I can have that automatically cut. So instead of having a 15 minute long video or 20 minute long video, it cut it down to 12. Now all I have to do is clean up the rest. That already just saved me tons of time. But again, Premiere Pro, you have to pay for that. It's not free but it's worth it. I can promise you that it is worth it because that one feature alone is gonna save you so much time than having to do that manually one by one. So after Premiere Pro automatically cut down your footage significantly, what you have to do then is just clean it up. So now you're just doing some cleanup editing. So you may have to extend one portion of the video or you may have to take one portion of the video completely out. But from there, you're basically just doing some corrections, right? But think about how fast you went from having a raw footage to having something that's cut up that it's not complete, but it's almost complete. That right there is gonna save you hours. I can promise you that. Because for most of us, we spend most of our time cutting up the actual footage. Premiere Pro does that automatically for you. It's not 100% perfect, 
but it is a better starting point than having the full blank canvas of raw footage. And from there, all you really have to do is just clean it up. So you may have to extend some parts that sound more natural. You may have to cut out some parts that just don't fit, but you're literally just cleaning up. And once you get past that point of having a blank canvas, so basically footage that's from start to finish that is clean, cleanly cut. So then you can add things like transitions. You can add things like text, like titles, like pop-up effects, all that fun stuff you can add once it's already all cut up. Literally easy. And here is the real trick, the real game. When you use certain things, so for example, if you use a certain title or use a certain text pop-up or use a certain anything, add that to a template folder. So basically you would open up another Premiere profile or another DaVinci Resolve file and you just put that in its own folder or its own project. Because what you can do from there is just copy and paste it for a new video that you're about to do. And basically what you're doing is creating your own templates so that you don't have to create the same thing over and over again. Once you start creating a lot of videos, you're going to know exactly what you like and what you don't like. You don't have to keep creating the same thing over and over again. So as you edit more videos, the amount of templates that you're already going to have is going to grow a lot. You need to save every single title pop-up that you have, every single text pop-up, everything that you do, every effect that you like, put it in its own project file because that can be used as templates so that when you're editing new videos, all you have to do is drag and drop. Literally, that's it. You want to get to a point where all you're doing is dragging and dropping and all of that comes with time. Now, on the other hand, if you're editing vlogs, everything's the same, right? But there are certain tricks for vlogs that you have to do that you have to realize that's going to make your life a lot easier because vlogs are made up of two things. B-roll shots, so basically shots of you doing things with music and you talking. You already know how to cut up talking head footage because I just showed you. So what you do is basically create your skeleton, right? So you create all the portions of your vlog where you're talking. So you may have five different parts of you talking. And in those five different parts, you have to cut up that footage. So when all your footage of you talking is all cut up, that is the first portion of your skeleton, right? That's literally all the talking you're going to do in your vlog. From there, all you have to do is space it out and add music. Like literally, that's it. Like the B-roll shots of you doing things, you adding music, those are the easy parts. The hardest part for most people is cutting up the actual footage of you talking. That is basically the meat of your video. So once you learn how to cut up footage fast, as far as cut up talking footage fast, that is going to be your key. That's going to be your guide. Because from there, you're just adding in B-roll footage. You're adding a good portion of the parts that you like. And literally, that's it. Like It's not really that difficult, but it is harder when you're first getting started. So for me, what I would recommend is finding a software that allows you to cut up footage as fast as possible. I'm going to recommend Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro, from what I've seen, is the fastest when it comes down to it. So if I was giving a rec recommendation to a newbie, it would be Premiere Pro. Is it more expensive? Yes. Does it need you to have a computer? Yes. But I'm giving advice that I would follow. That's how I edit faster. Using things that makes my life easier. You cannot be cheap on this journey, but you also have to be efficient. Proxy files, use Premiere Pro. As you're editing, you're going to build up a lot of things that you use constantly. Add those to template files. And one more thing I can say for vlogs is when you're putting all of your files in a folder, make sure you color code it so that you know exactly what is what. So for example, for me, for my vlogs, every time that I talk in my vlogs, I color code those videos red. And every time it is something, it is me doing something, I color code those videos blue. The reason why I color code it is because I want to know exactly when I'm talking or when I'm doing things to, or making B-roll shots so that it makes my process when I'm editing a lot faster. And that is really it. That's really the trick. And once you put out enough videos, you're going to know exactly what you like and what you don't like. And then you can hire help. That is going to eliminate a lot of your problems. Because for most of us, we may only like to do the creative stuff. We may want to work with a blank canvas. So you may need a editor to not edit your whole video for you, but to basically build the skeleton out for you. So basically have the talking footage of you talking, have some B-roll shots, have foot more footage of you talking, more B-roll shots. Maybe that's what you need. Or if you're just doing talking head footage like this, you may need an editor to just edit your footage down from start to finish with no effects because you want to add your own effects to it. That is something else. You don't need an editor to edit your whole footage for you. Maybe you just need that. Or maybe you like to cut up your own footage and you like editors to be creative on their own. So you give an editor already done footage that's already cut up and they just edit and just add stuff to the footage. But we don't know what you like yet because you got to edit more. But essentially, that is how I edit faster. And with that being said, if you have any interest in getting your own editor to either cut up the footage for you and give you back a blank canvas or receive a blank canvas and just make it more pretty for you, 
Make sure you click the link in the bio, fill out the application. If I can't help you, I'll definitely push you in the right direction. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.